Sonia says, is it permissible for me to complain about my in-laws in front of my mother or about a fight that we had with our friends or relatives, or is this considered as backbiting? What's the definition of backbiting? Sonia, backbiting is to mention something that the other party, which is not present, would hate if they were to know that you're mentioning their name. So let's assume Brother Ahmed, he's not with us. And I'm talking to you and I say, Akhi, do you believe that Ahmed steals money from the cafeteria? Or do you believe that Ahmed cursed me and said very vulgar words to me? And if Ahmed were to hear this, he would be upset. So this is backbiting. Even if this that I'm saying is true, Ahmed is short, he's really tiny. Ahmed is fat, Ahmed is stupid, his IQ is low. All of this is true, yet because that individual does not approve of people talking behind his back in such a way, this is backbiting. Now, there is a difference between this and someone who's oppressed. لا يحب الله الجهر بالسوء من القول إلا من ظلم. Allah does not like people to publicly announce something that's evil unless for those who were oppressed. So if your mother-in-law oppressed you and she shouted at you and said bad things about you and your family and that you are a fat cow and you don't work and she has no right to say these things to you. If you go back to your mom's house or to your family and say to them, do you believe that my mother-in-law my mother-in-law said so and so and so and so about me? She's an oppressor. You can say these things about her because she transgressed, she wronged you, and she said these things, awful things that you are entitled to avenge yourself by saying these things behind her back. But if it is a dispute, she didn't do anything, you did something wrong, she replied to you, so both were, of you were in the wrong, it's unfair, like so many people do. They come and complain. Sheikh Hassan, my husband did this and this and this and this and this. Okay, this is counseling. This is not backbiting. But they do not say their side of the, their part in the story. <clears throat> so he shouted at me. He almost hit me. He threw me against the wall. He never pays back uh, uh, his dues. He never stays with me. Okay, why don't you say your side of the story? Because it's human nature always want to portray themselves as the victim and never say that, yeah, I used to turn off the lights and the air conditioning in the middle of the, uh, the day or uh, when he was asleep and take off his uh, uh, glasses and break his mobile and nag his head off. That's why he did what he had done. And I'm not taking sides, but people have to be fair in order to reach a conclusion. Therefore, if there is a dis such a dispute, it's not permissible for you to go and backbite people because there is a dispute. There is no transgression. And you have to be wise. Now, when you're angry with your in-laws and you go and tell your mom, next week maybe they'll make up things and give you a present and please you and apologize. You will forgive them most likely. Your mom will never forgive them till the day of judgment for the hurt they had caused you. So you have to be really careful in choosing what to tell your parents and in your, your um, family 
about your in-laws so that you would not cause more harm.